Today we're taking a look at how to destroy an external hard drive. Now, there are unique challenges to destroying an external hard drive specifically. Um, in my previous video, I put out how to destroy a hard drive in general. That was a laptop hard drive. If you have a laptop, you're looking to destroy that hard drive. That's the one you want to watch. Now the first step is very, very important to make sure you back up your data on the hard drive. I'm assuming you've already done that. Once that's complete, you need to do a software wipe on this thing. Uh, I use Derek's Boot and Nuke. Uh, that's a free program. I'll leave the link in the description below. So what you do is you hook up your external drive to your computer, you run this program, and you make sure that the external drive is the one that you are nuking because there is no recovery from this unless you are a incredible forensic expert even then i don't know if it's possible um really this video is for a zero percent chance of recovery so we're kind of going one two three punch on these drives so derek's boot and nuke uh, i'll leave the link in the description below wipe this thing completely it's not going to take very long to do it the bigger the drive the longer it might take to do it but only a few minutes at the most um, and once you've done that and you have made sure before you click go on that thing that it's the actual external hard drive and not one of your internal drives, something that you wanna save, because again, point of no return once you click that button. Once you've done that wipe, it is now, from a software perspective, most people would say it's good to go. I'm not satisfied with that, with technology the way it is, so I will now go and attack the drive physically and, and destroy the platter. Now, you have to understand the way a hard drive works is a lot like a record player. When you have an old 45 or a 33, when you put the needle down on that record, it's spinning and the music is in between those grooves. The needle is picking it up. The record, in that case, is like the platter of a hard drive. You need to get to that platter and destroy it because that platter is where all the data is. If you can physically destroy that thing, if you took a, a 33 record and you snapped it in half, you can still tell hear the music and it might skip, but you can still hear it. Now, if you got a piece of sandpaper and you really went to town on it, you're not gonna be listening to that music anytime soon. So same concept here. Let's get into it. The case of this was never designed to be opened ever. So it's getting through this. Second, unlike a laptop hard drive, the spindles on an external hard drive are made out of aluminum. Aluminum is a much tougher material than a ceramic or glass, of course, uh, like a laptop hard drive. So let's get into it. First, you need a couple tools. What I have laid out in front of me, first, this is a Torx, drill bit set. Now I happen to have one of these that goes all the way down to T9, the lower the number, the smaller the bit, um, which will probably be good for cracking the case open itself, maybe a T10, we'll see. Um, but once you get into the nitty gritty of it, it may require a smaller torque size. So maybe like a T6 or a T8, um, but we'll get into that. I, the smallest I own is a T9. A lot of people may not even have one of these at all. I will have a link in the description below on a general torque set that's on the smaller side for basically dismantling any kind of a hard drive, generally speaking. Some may require Phillips head, but most, almost all of them require torque drill bit, which is uh, very specific, uh, a very specific type of drill bit. So we've got that. I have a Leatherman multi-tool here. I have sandpaper. I've got a, a drill with a metal drill bit on it, and I have safety goggles. So put this here. This is kind of in order of how I'm going to use it. So let's get to it. First off is the safety goggles, because when you are cracking this thing open, you can do it in a multitude of ways. You're not trying to save it. So really, if you want to grab a hammer to it, go ahead and knock yourself out. I'm more of a lover than a fighter, so I'm going to delicately open this thing. Um, just you got to take a look to figure out how they put it together, because obviously it snapped together somehow. Um, sometimes there are areas we can get a screwdriver in and pop it off. This one here is a couple slots. We've got one, two, three, four. This is why I like my Leatherman too. It's a multi-tool, so it's got a bunch of different sizes on here. I don't have to go hunting for screwdrivers. And the eye protection is in the likely event plastic goes flying while I'm doing this, I'm protecting my eyeballs. Again, everyone's process is different for this stage. It could be more difficult, it could be less difficult, but most of them do not have screw holes for you to easily do this. So there will be some destruction involved. All 
All right, and take a second to figure out how this was put together. But we've got three tabs on your side. One, two, three. Okay. Now, you can go ahead and pop the whole thing out if you really want to. I feel like it's extra steps. I mean, I could take off the bottom part, remove it from here. Really, what we need to get to is what's inside of this drive. Yep, okay, so these are our torque bits right here. I'm, I'm gonna try the smallest one, I've got a T9. Yep. Now, as is often the case with something that's not designed to be serviceable, um, I'm seeing six screws, but there's likely at least one underneath the sticker here. I'll show you how to find that. Okay. Okay, now push with your finger. Yeah, I, I, fe I felt it already. You feel like a kind of a, an indentation under the sticker? Yep, there it is. Okay. Probably the last one. Find out in a second. Why am I still wearing my goggles? Okay. No more projectiles, so goggles are gone. Nope, doesn't want to come up. There's probably one more. Yep, here it is. There we go, there's the platter. This perfectly shiny, perfect looking thing, this is what has to be destroyed. And you can see this is the playhead. So a needle on the old record player, that's this guy right here. There are four, if you look closely, on here. And what it's doing, there are two platters and a total of four sides. So there are four sides of this that you have to destroy. Metal drill bit, yes, that's a great way, but the best way is with sandpaper on either side of it. And then when you're done, go ahead and, and hit it with a drill if you'd like. That's an optional step, definitely optional. Really all these steps are optional once you do that Derek boot and nuke. Um, but again, I want 0% chance of recovery. So let's start taking this apart. I, I'm, yeah, look how small these torque bits are. Nope. Yeah, so a T9 in this case is just a little bit too big. So it's probably a T8 in this particular case. Your drive may be different. Um, so what I'm going to do since I do not have one of those bits, I'll take the needle nose pliers on my multi-tool and see if I can't get them off that way. So I'm just pinching the sides and unscrewing it. The hardest part is just getting it started. You have to squeeze real hard and give it a real good twist to start it. And it comes right off, there we go. Let's do that for all the screws that are holding this down. Some time has passed. Um, I was unable to get two of the screws out using needle nose pliers, all kinds of stuff. They're really in there well. So plan B. For you, I highly recommend clicking below and getting that uh, the torque set if you don't already have it. Uh, but there's always ways to get to it because really you just need to, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be pretty, you just have to get to it. So ideally you pop it off and then you use sandpaper. See where it's nice and shiny and perfect. You just go to town on it that way until it's all really nice and scratched up on both sides. Now be careful because on this one in particular, this has heat sinks built into it. That's what this aluminum is. So this is sharp. Again, it's not designed to ever be touched by anybody. Run the risk of getting scratched with this thing either. Oh, of course, it's glued on. These are magnets. Be very careful around smartwatches. Don't put this near a smartphone. Anything that can be demagnetized, uh, credit cards, things like that, it will wipe the memory clean or at the very least corrupt the data pretty badly. So word of caution there, keep these things, they are extremely strong away from watches. I mean, as close as I am right now, this is as close as I'd want to get with it. So I'll just bring this down to bare bones. You don't have to. Let's kind of like see how it's put together.
those are the heads right here. What you want to do is, like I said, get the sandpaper out for this platter. And on the top layer, this would be very easy. Make sure you get all the way to the edges. Now we need to get to the other side of it. A pair of pliers will work. Now this is aluminum. It shouldn't snap on you. Now this is easier once you remove the guts of this thing because it gives you more space. Bend that up as much as we'll go. Okay. Chains are pretty good. That's obviously unreadable, but let's scratch up the underside of it now. I'm not worrying about this side being super perfect. Now to get the side here that wasn't pulled up. Other side. Now for the bottom one, same deal as the top one. Get your pliers. There you go. That is how to destroy a hard drive properly. Step one is back up all your data. Number two is do the software wipe with Derek's boot and nuke. And step three is to actually crack it open and make your way to the platter, the aluminum platters, because these are external drives. It'll most likely be these. Use sandpaper and really go to town on it. If you want, you can use a metal, uh, a drill bit designed for metal and put some holes in this thing as well. But the chance of somebody getting information off of this right now after I've done the Derek's boot and nuke and mauled it this way, is zero. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.